Hello there potatoes and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I have a few talk topics for you potatoes and in the background you're watching some Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies gameplay so I hope you enjoyed that and what we're going to be talking about today is a couple of topics I'm going to start off with talking about my horror series Layers of Fear for those of you who watched that um, there are the very few of you who watched that um, there it's going to be put on hold for a little bit because basically what happened is one of the episodes in between that I was recording didn't actually record um, leaving like a gap after episode 6, in other words episode 7, uh, the part in that did not record. So I'm going to have to go back, finish the game, finish all the episodes and then replay that bit. So that means the next episode is going to be a little while away. So I hope you just have to wait and yeah that's our first week topic. And so our second week topic is going to be a sort of a wee bit of YouTube drama I guess you could say. And that is about Smosh, Le or sorry Anthony leaving Smosh. Um, in the last week. I don't know how many of you w watch Smosh or even still watch Smosh. Personally, I stopped whenever all the new actors came in, whenever sort of a company took it over. And that was pretty much the end of it for me. Um, but yeah, that basically he's left now and I'm sort of wondering whether that's the end. Although, I don't know whether this is the end for Smosh because it seems like those of people who watched it were accustomed to the like new actors and they weren't really too bothered about it, like, the amount of support on the video saying that he was leaving is actually quite overwhelming, there's not very many dislikes, so it seems like some people are okay with that new sort of team of people selling Smosh, but it is sad, you know, when you think of Smosh you do think of those two just doing funny comedy sketches and stuff like that, so that does kind of bug me, like, that is quite sad, but, um, that is what it is, you know, he's decided he wants to go off and do some things, and personally, you know, I'm glad, I think, Smosh was really becoming very stale in terms of humour and stuff like that. It was just same old immature humour. Um, I can't really talk about immature humour, but it really was. Like, um, it was really going downhill. And and that's what I have to say about it. You know, I think it's good that he's left. That he's moving on, you know. Although people are sad, I think he's made a fair choice. And the last little topic I want to talk about today, Potatoes, is going to be that of... Is the Xbox One and the PS4, are they the last generation of the consoles? That was what was said a few years ago, that the Xbox One and PS4 would be the last generations, but I'm not too sure if that was just a marketing point to get you to buy a clicker, I mean, I honestly wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, you know, honestly, like, that is probably what it was at the end of the day, and you might be asking, like, why am I even talking about this? But, um, are they really the last console generation? It has sort of still made me wonder, because now we're getting sort of the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, it's kind of showing that, like, you know, they're starting to move forward. They're starting to sort of inch forward a bit like that, and that maybe we'll be getting new consoles. Now all games still run on pretty much all the platforms, so you might be like, well, that doesn't really matter then. And uh, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe it doesn't, but eventually there's going to come a time when there's too big a gap between the newest variation of the Xbox or the PS4 and the oldest one, the original one, which is the one I use. And eventually they will, I think, inevitably have to do that. And you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they can keep going for quite a long time, inconceivably. Um, like at least 10 or 20 more years, but I, I very much doubt that. I think it's going quite quick and that was a marketing ploy, you know, to keep it going. And you know, the, the Xbox One original isn't actually that powerful a console, but I mean, even, even the PS4, like, you think they're nowhere near as powerful as PCs, so you'd think they'd have to change at some point. But yeah, it was just me kind of wondering, especially since this has been in my head since the past E3, um, whether they're going to be still keeping up on with the Xbox One or not. I mean, it has only been like three and a half years since both the new consoles released, if you can still call them new. But yeah, th that's that's my thoughts on it. I don't think it's going to last forever. I think it was a marketing ploy mostly. Maybe a little bit more extended than the previous generation, but on honestly, I don't know. Anyway, but that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comments and about Smosh. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.